In the previous episode, we did the uh, flower dance and I got rejected. Of course I did because I didn't have anybody at four hearts, which we were close with Maru, but that was just not going to happen with everything else going on. This is going to be a weird episode because of various reasons, but we got a lot to do. Let's check the weather real quick. Uh, beautiful sunny day. Cool. Fortune teller. It's good humor today. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. Because of our giant haul with money, um, our total earnings are now at 32000 which obviously puts us above the 25000 that we need for... Uh, what's his name? I, you know what? I really need to remember this, guys. Demetrius. Demetrius is going to show up as soon as we go outside. And he's going to he's gonna determine whether or not we get the the mushroom cave or the bat cave. I think that, you know, in all situations, you, you should be yourself. Unless you can be Batman, then you be Batman. And in this case, we're going to get the bat cave. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Because we need the fruits, and I've already explained that in the previous episode. So let's just let's just go out there, and get this done, and then we got we got a lot to do. Hi Zen, I have some good news for you. A few day, few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to you get to the point. Uh, you know that empty cave you have over in the cliffs? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful for both of us. I beg your pardon. I'd like to set up a cave to attract some local species. That way I can observe them in a more controlled environment and you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. Uh, yeah, we need bats. All right, I'll go set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. Yeah, no problem, my guy. We'll, we'll let you do it this time. All right, here's the thing. So, <laughs> I need my bars, right? We got to run over and do... I may as well get some of these cooking in the meantime. Um, but we need to go do, 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 do our upgrade on our axe. So, this has to happen today. Because then we don't have it today. And we don't have it on the 27th. But we have it on the 28th, which allows us to, on the very last day of spring, break down that log, get to the secret woods, and potentially get the morals so that way we don't have to get it um, when, we, when, when we get it, you know, eventually on the, the traveling merchant, right? So that's definitely something that needs to happen. We also need to go ahead and water these tiny bits of plants here. The good news is, I actually don't really have much to water. <laughs> Just these. And I'm done. We also want to say hi to our pup. Good puppy. This. Um, we're going to get that. We're going to get another one of these going. Okay. And then we can harvest all of our cauliflower. I'm going to get rid of all of the non just basic cauliflower. Make us a little tiny extra money. And we have enough money that I think I should go pick up a couple more chickens. I think that's probably wise. Boom. boom. Okay, so we have the eight additional cauliflower. That gives us 22 weeks, or I guess less than that, 11 weeks of gifts for Maru, which is pretty good. That, that'll that that'll last us a while, and it'll at least get us to the point where we get uh, gold, because gold is another thing, gold and, gold and diamonds. So we can, we can start, like, um, growing diamonds at a certain point. So I think I think that'll hold us over for this first year. Okay, so we absolutely need to check out the vendor. So we're loaded at the moment, but we want to save a lot of our money. Um, we just want to see... Okay, purple mushroom. I believe I do need a purple mushroom. Blackberry, clam, na na na. Sunflower, don't need it. Tilapia. I'll have to see when we get the tilapia. There's oak resin here, actually. I can get one of those. I mean, having oak resin is great. All right, we're going we're gonna to consult our app. Okay, so I... I bought the purple mushroom. Um, we can get that in the mines when we get lower, but I'm just going to grab it now. But the oak resin, I actually kind of feel like I do want to just buy out. Um, that gives us the options of making some crafting things later. So, like, uh, I don't think I can make them now. Boo. I think it is the... 
like the keg or whatever it is it basically it's gonna allow us to make more artisan goods and they're kind of a pain in the butt to get um at least early on so i think i think starting off with five is great we had the money to do it i know i gotta save the rest we're gonna be down another 5k when i reach uh cliff uh clint rather and then after we is there anything down there no after we do that then it's just the next couple days of like maybe fishing or or just saving up our money for summer like today we're getting to summer and i think that that that's actually pretty good what nine episodes to get to summer that's not bad that's like we're averaging like three or three days an episode and uh yeah i think, I think that that's turned out to be a pretty good pace for us but as we fill out like the mines and whatnot um, we get those done. We get the bundles done. We, you know, basically get a lot of the random other crap done in the game. We're going to get to the point where, you know what? I think we're, I think we're honestly, do I really want to buy another chicken? I kind of feel like I do. Yes, I do. We're going to get to the point where some of the episodes I'm, I might like talk once during a day. <laughs> we'll see. Um, let's see here. We did... Uh, we did, we did Baldur's Gate three names for our chickens. And I think we have, uh, Astarian and Will. Is that what it was? So we need a, we need a Gale. If we don't have a Gale, we need a Gale. Boom. Little Gale will be there. Okay. Uh, let's double check. Animals. Yep. Astarian, Will, and Gale. Perfect. Love it. Upgrade tools. Upgrade our steel axe, right? We want to make sure that that's correct. Um, we're going to shop. And I wanted to check the cost on gold ore. It's 400 an ore. Which, ugh, God, that's kind of brutal. But if we get to the point where I need to upgrade um, upgrade one of our tools or do like, uh, you know, any other thing where we turn it in for one of these um, little requisition missions. Then it might be worth, like, if I have four from buying one of them. I just wanted to do the math on that one. Because that's always the weird one where it costs too much, usually, to just buy it. But as you get further on in the game and you're making a bunch of money, it's almost better to just purchase some of, like, the lower level ones rather than spend the time getting them. Depends on how much money per day you're making um, just off of your normal farming, though. Oh, what's this? I just came to look at prices for things. Oh, hello there. Your dad's here. I don't, I don't want to talk to you with your dad here. My dad and I are just testing some soil samples. Don't be shy. We could use a hand, actually. Could you watch this beaker for me? I'm going to grab the last batch of samples. <laughs> Nerd. I'll be right back. Am I just staring at it? Just like, <laughs> give me really little instruction. Thanks for helping out, Zen. Like, uh, yeah, sure. I guess I'm just staring at this. Mara's a good, good. She's my special little girl. Oh no, we're about to have the conversation. <laughs> yeah, music just stopped. I wouldn't want anything getting in the way of her bright future. You know what I mean? Jeez, guy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Just some food for thought. Ha 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 ha. Pulls out a gun. <laughs> hey, sorry about that. I hope you found something to talk about while I was gone. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talked about soil. Dirt. I was just telling Zen about my soil samples we were testing. <laughs> uh, right, Zen? Actually, your dad's being weird. Uh, say nothing. Well, we'd better, uh... Tit rate? That doesn't seem like a word, is it? Uh, okay, tit rate the solution before it crystallizes on us. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, here, Zen. Let me show you how to use the equipment. Oh, yeah? Wink. Watch this, Demetrius. <laughs> Well then, back inside, I needed things to do. All right, uh, shop. Is there any way I could just buy clay from her? Yeah, that's not gonna happen, is it? 
Well, I tried. I tried, I tried, I tried. So, big chest recipe, 5k. Pfft, sucks. We'll get there. Um, I wanted to see what the cost of upgrading. 10,450 pieces of wood, okay? And then I wanted to see the cost of... We have a coop. But the barn is 6k, 350 wood, 150 stone. A silo, we just need the clay. Um... And the, where is it? Bull, stable. Uh, oh, big coop. Okay, 10K, 400 wood, 150 stone. That's gonna be a summer purchase, I think. That'll get us our ducks and, and all that. So I think what I'm gonna do is utilize the rest of this day just fishing. Just to get that extra moolah, right? We get the extra money per fish now. So that will be very helpful. I probably could consider getting a new fishing pole upgrade soon just so I can use bait and whatnot, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with our current fishing level and the amount of money that we're gonna make off of fish. So I had some fun stuff happen today. I've been waiting for this package for the better part of like three weeks now to show up because it was just on back order. But I purchased an, an AMS system for my, one of my 3D printers for uh, one of the FDM printers. Now I'm going to explain all that in just a second. Um, but I was really excited to get it today and start tinkering with it. Now it's doing a test print and I'm enjoying it. So um, if you don't know what an FDM printer is, that's a, a fused deposition method, which is the, when you think of a 3D printer, it's usually what you think of, kind of the, the, the tool... Um, the hot tool end that melts like a, a stringy filament and deposits it, you know, downward. Um, unlike a resin printer, which, you know, has a UV screen that um, uses UV light to cure a liquid resin and then uh, creates 3D prints that way. Uh, this is definitely the more standard 3D printing that you, you would see. Um, I have both kinds of printers. They're, it, it's the difference between uh, mechanical engineering and chemistry. <laughs> that's, that's the difference between the two. So if you're ever interested in 3D printing, I would recommend doing your research beforehand and making sure that you have a spot to put it because we still don't know what all this stuff does in the long term to our bodies. And you don't want to be inhaling any kind of like uh, nasty chemicals or, or particles and stuff like that. Anyway, so for my FDM printer, I ordered an AMS. An AMS is an uh, automatic material switching system. It's basically a thing that goes on top of the printer and you put different spools of filament in it and it will automatically swap out the filament during a print. So it allows you in essence to do like multicolored prints. So it's, it's super cool. Um, in the, the, the software that we use for a 3D printing called Slicer, you can like digitally change the color of, of like different surfaces on the object and you can align those with the material that you're using to 3D print. So when it pops out, you can, yeah, you can make a, like a, I don't know, an object just have multiple colors on it and you can assign where those colors go. It's super cool. It's really cool watching it happen. There's a lot of waste in it because it has to clear what's in the tool head that heats up um, each time and on each layer for each color. <laughs> so I could see how it would be a little bit of a waste for some people, but because, uh, you know, my part of my business is doing 3D printing. A big part of my business is doing 3D printing and having an option of doing like cooler stuff or multicolored stuff is uh, ideal, actually. So I'm looking forward to kind of seeing the popularity of that and testing it out. But I've got a test print going on right now. It's so much fun just watching it, just like swap between the different filaments. And this printer prints so freaking fast. So it's um, it's not as much of a waste as you might think. Wow, we've already collected a lot of fishes. Anyways, yeah, I, I think that I'm having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> It's a super nerdy thing. If you know anything about 3D printing, you know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, hopefully I described it in a way that uh, helps educate you. Oh my goodness, we gotta get rid of something. Probably the stone. Definitely the stone. Oh man, I tell you what. that was. I think that was a pretty productive evening of fishing. Let's see how much money we ended up making. Between the cauliflower and the fishing. Oh yeah, that was nice. So the mayonnaise giving us so much more. 
342 per gold mayonnaise. That's really nice. Um, that quickly pays for a chicken. Uh, cauliflower, yep. Yeah. And that was just those particular cauliflower. I could have sold all of it, but obviously I, I need it for gifts. And then that was uh, pretty productive as well. Lots of money there. Man, that was good. Just made 4K off of that. We basically just paid for our tool upgrade, which is so good. Um, and the fact that we're not having to worry about doing all of the digging and, and watering and stuff for these next couple of days. Really nice. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. And today is going to be neutral. Maybe I do more fishing. I don't know. That's the thing is I, I feel like a lot of people undervalue fishing early on. Um, not everybody, obviously. There's plenty of people who know that you can make a lot of money off of it. But the, the thing that I think it's undervalued is considering just how you're you know how you're gonna level it up early on in order to get the fish during summer and fall because there's some really hard to get fish and you need it leveled up to do that so it's kind of like you gotta take the time to do it early knowing that you're gonna be investing more time in the, in the um mines and stuff like that. all right dear zen i saw an article about you in the local paper sounds like uh like the country life is a good fit for you I'm so proud of you take care sweetie love mom kisses Ooh, someone else messaged me too <laughs> greetings then it's a pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up and coming column of the stardew valley tribune congratulations we're impressed with your great with your quick progress svt who, who runs the svt tell me <laughs> who's who's doing this i feel like they're biased as well all right, let's dump some of this stuff. Actually, I probably should just keep that in my inventory for the time being. Say hi to our pup. Uh, water is bowl. Get us some green beans. Of course, we're going to sell these immediately. And I kind of want to see what I can do with farmland here. Um, kind of judging the size of what we can farm. Uh, so that way we know for sure coming into summer like how many how many seeds i need to buy i think that'll be really important let's do both of these bam hopefully that chicken grows up nice and big real quick oh my goodness i got my glass clay that i need okay so we're gonna take the clay the stone i don't think i need wood but we're just gonna take it anyways we may as well just take bars i don't know what do we need for a hey what you call it <laughs> a silo i don't know but that's gonna be so good to get right now. It means I can start clearing a lot of that grass and collect hay because I'm going to need that hay in order to feed my chickens, which I'm going to try to get more of. I'm going to try to upgrade my coop ASAP and get um, a, uh, a barn as quickly as possible as well. So that that's going to be so key. I got to get this stupid thing. I've needed to get it for a while. I just haven't. Okay. Construct farm buildings. Where's it at? I went the wrong direction, didn't I? It would have been faster to go this way. There it is. Oh, I'm glad I bought the brought the the copper bars. Okay. Um, built. Where do we want to put this? Probably just like right here, honestly. Because that leaves us a way to go through. Four, four, four. Yeah, we can we can do two silos there. I think that'll look pretty good, actually. Having them right next to our house. Um, it also means it'll be quicker to check. Oh, you know what? I should probably go say hi tomorrow. I forgot she was in here. Hello, father. Uh, it's real satisfying when you can repair something yourself. Blah, 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 blah. Do you say the same thing every day? <laughs> now I'm suddenly realizing maybe, maybe I just want to stay single. I don't, I don't want to hear someone repeat the exact same thing every single day. It'd be like, um, like, uh, uh, uh Groundhog's Day or better reference which is also a reference to groundhog's day but more roundabout it's the episode of stargate where <laughs> look stargate is one of my favorite shows if you've been on the channel for for a while you know this I bring it up every now and then and i used to talk about it a lot um but yeah stargate is freaking fantastic anyways there was an episode of stargate sg1 um where oh my goodness have i already said hi to my dog no um, where one of the characters wakes up and has one of these things. Basically, there's an alien artifact that's causing the Groundhog's Day effect. I'm not going to go into all the details because if you've never watched Stargate, it's not going to really make much sense. 
Um, but it, it is basically looping the day constantly. And even though it's on another planet. And so he, yeah, he goes through the Groundhog's Day effect and slowly but surely goes more and more crazy and just does dumber things. And um, it's it's just funny. And then he has to, like, you know, do the whole explanation of what's happening after a while to, to one of the scientists. And, you know, that person obviously doesn't believe him every single day. So you get into the funny situation of, of him who is not a scientist. Oh, I can't shop. He's not here. Um, slowly having to, uh, to learn the science behind it day by day <laughs> and like memorizing it. And then, you know, explaining and being like, look, this is what you've taught me every other previous day. Oh, that just went away. As soon as I did that, that was annoying. Uh, yeah. And then having to relay that information on top of having to convince him every day. I just, I love it. That's one of my favorite Stargate issue uh, episodes. Highly recommend it. Oh, we got sea jelly. Nice. Uh, we're apparently going to need that later on for something. And it actually reminds me, I had someone comment. I'll, I'll try to remember to reply to them. That's the problem is I <laughs> I read every single comment in all of my videos. So I appreciate when you guys go down and comment and say whatever it is that you want to say. But um, I don't always have the time to reply because usually I'm like checking my comments. I don't know while I'm eating lunch and I've got my toddler running around. I'm trying to watch her and it's just hard to sit there and actually like reply to a comment. Um, but I read them all. So I may not remember to reply to this, but I had a guy comment saying um, that there's also the secret bundle and a bunch of other end game stuff. And I, I'm aware of that. I've not actually gotten to do any of the new end game stuff on the island. I don't remember the name of it is um, because I haven't gotten to that point in the game since they added it. But I have done all the bundles before, um, including the secret one. And that's just the goal. It's just year one, just by the end of year one. Ooh, we got flounder. Um, by the end of year one, just to get to completing the community center. Like, I'm not, I don't have any grand expectations of doing the, the other bundle or getting to the end game stuff. But if, you know, if the. If, and as I said from day one, if the series continues to be popular, then yeah, we can we can always go back and and check that stuff out and uh, continue going past the the final day of the year and see you know see how well we do past that and, and just see the new content too because it's just stuff I've never seen before. Okay, I feel like we had a pretty solid day, but not as good as the previous one, mostly because of the cauliflower. We upgraded fishing though, um, bait maker. Oh, excuse me, I feel like the bait maker might be new. Uh, spinner, trap bobber, and sonar bobber. I don't remember being able to make bobbers before. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention since the last time I played. Yeah, I made two and a half grand. That's pretty good. That's half of a fruit tree that we're going to need to buy. Uh, we definitely want to buy an apple tree sometime within like the next week of gameplay. Our axe is ready, so that's what we've been waiting for. All right, so this is going to be our big day. So it's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Fortune teller. Yes, going to have the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Um, Queen of sauce. What are we going to learn? Omelette. Perfect. <laughs> uh, such a simple disc, but but so often done incorrectly. Man, I, I totally agree. I hate going to a restaurant and ordering an omelette and it coming out. And you're just being like, man, I can make a better one of these at home. A perfect omelet is a thing of beauty. It's a pure golden angel of gleaming egg. And I'm going to show you my secret method. You learned how to cook an omelet. Yeah, I love making French omelets and, and having it like that perfect, yeah, like golden color. Um, where's our water? Ba, ba, ba. And then like, I'm, I'm a sucker for cream cheese and slices of tomato in my omelet, but... You know, sometimes, sometimes I just like to go simple, just a normal omelet. Other times I like to, uh, you know, put some like fried mushrooms on top. Oh man, it's so good. I love omelets. They're so versatile. There's a lot you can do with it. One thing that I actually do with eggs lately is if I'm going to do a fried egg, I will, um, I'll, I'll make green eggs. <laughs> I know that this is kind of weird, but, um, the way I do it is you take a little pesto. And normally you don't use a hot pan, like a really hot pan for an egg because it just is not going to cook right. 
um, you're going to way overdo it. But you get it kind of like hotter than you normally would, and you put just like a spoonful of pesto, and you kind of use the spoon to to like make a, a crater in it, right? So the so the water or so the egg, sorry, I don't know why I said water. So the egg like sits inside of it when you crack it over it. So you do that, and then the pesto kind of crisps up just a little bit, and then I like my eggs over over easy, over medium. So I I flip them. So I put I you know I do the pesto I put the egg in then I actually cover the pan with like a glass lid and then uh, when the the top is like getting more cooked than um, than like raw then I flip it and do the the over medium it's just so good I highly recommend it oh, open at 9 a.m. all right we have just enough time to run down to the beach and do some scavenging that's the thing about cooking though cooking is like historically been so relaxing for me it's been this thing that i enjoy doing and i enjoy getting better at and i enjoy just like the process of it and and of course i enjoy eating i am a i am a you know average sized person i am like five i think five eleven or maybe six but no i think i'm five eleven is, is the official thing on my driver's license and the last time i got measured and i'm like 155 to 160 depending on what day it is it's like i'm just like an average size person but man do i love eating i love eating my the promise i'm getting older I'm getting older and you know what my, my uh metabolism is now starting to slow down so it's like i can't eat everything that i used to but i still love eating but the, the problem with cooking now is it's gotten to the point where I just don't have the time to do it. So then I feel like it's brushing into my any of my free time that I might have or even of my work time that I have. And now I don't enjoy it anymore. So it's like a double whammy. It's like, man, I want to eat. I'm hungry, but I don't want to make anything. <laughs> All right. What you got? Got Mega Bomb, Horseradish, Spicy Eel, Cockle, Pepper Seeds, Sunfish. Do I need a Sunfish? I think I've gotten my Sunfish. Uh, let's double check it, though. All right, I've gotten my sunfish. I don't need the pepper seeds. Uh, even though we're about to get into summer, we're not going to do peppers. I think we're just going to do blueberries and then whatever else I need for the... Uh, yeah, but it doesn't make any sense to buy it now. So, yeah, feeling pretty good. Okay, now. Now we can do what we came here for. As soon as I fix my inventory. Boop, 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 boom. There we go. So, the whole point of upgrading my axe is so we can come over here and break this thing right here. Get this thing out of here. Takes a while. There we go. All that hardwood, beautiful. But now we can do the secret woods. I love the secret woods. Doesn't look like there's any mushrooms right here. So we're probably gonna have to buy a moral, unfortunately. That's fine. I kind of expected that that might be the case, but we wanted to rush it just in case we could get away with getting the, the mushrooms that we needed right away. Either way, we need to now come in here and get hardwood basically exclusively every day that we come down this direction. It's very important that we do that. We're going to need a lot of hardwood later on, so yeah, I'd, I would prefer getting it ASAP. We've got the uh, monster compendium. Interesting. Is that an actual item? It is. Monsters have a small chance to drop double loot. Is this a thing I can like wear? Is there a thing I can use? No? Oh, there we go. Oh, you learned a new power. Sweet. An old master cannoli still searching for the sweetest taste. Um, I wanna, I'm probably gonna do a little bit of fishing here to be honest. We'll see. But man, I'm so happy that we, we managed to get the ax done just in time. Um, unfortunately, yeah, like, the, like I said, we're not gonna get the the actual mushrooms that we're looking for, but that's fine. No biggie. It's a hard one to do. But, you know, we, we managed to accomplish one of my main goals that I have usually when I when I jump into a new Stardew Valley playthrough. Okay, so I cleared out part of my farm here. I felt like I should just to get as much wood and stuff as possible, knowing that we're going to need a lot of that coming into the summer. And, um... Yeah, I think I'm going to make a path real quick. So I have a ton of stone. So let's just grab a bunch of that. Go to crafting. Um, can I make stone paths? Yes, I can. So 
Uh, how many do I actually need? Don't know. Let's go with 40 for now. <laughs> but I, I want to have a path that goes um, essentially from my house. Can I, can I put a path there? Can we, can we pass this all the way up? I feel like maybe I want to go single down here. But yeah, I, I, I want as much of a, a nice little path going to my chickens and whatnot as possible. Um, on top of just like going out of town. I believe paths actually increase your speed as well. Um, potentially. I think they do. Yeah. So I also want one coming from over at the greenhouse. We'll go from here. Plop all this down. I'm gonna need a little bit more though. Boo, boo, boo. See, and this is when we start getting into the decoration part of the, of the playthrough, where I start just kind of decorating things and making it look pretty. If you've watched some of my um my Terraria stuff, you know that I like I like my stuff looking pretty. I don't know what it is. It's just I do. I just do. Man, you know what I don't like? I don't like this being all up against the house like that. Oh crap, I'm starting to Use the rest of my energy. All right, that's fine. We'll go. We'll go one down here and then across. Um, or maybe I just keep it a double pass going. I don't know. We'll go. We'll go one across for now. I'm gonna make it a little bit more. Again, we're gonna have so much stone throughout the uh, the playthrough just from. Where's my crafting? There it is. Just from going through and um, going through the mines and whatnot. So yeah. I can also kick a bit of that up as well. Uh, let's just boom, boom. All right, is that not letting me do it? Cause it is, yeah. Do, do, do. All right, that feels nice. I like having this path here. I feel like it makes everything look just a bit better. I can even go like this. Wait, did I just pop that in there? Or, oh, I must've used the last of my path. All right. Let's finish off this day then. We've used everything we can. We have officially finished spring. It's time to go straight into summer. Uh, trees drop 25% more wood or chance for double harvest of foraged items. Mm. I feel like we can always get more wood. I think gatherer is probably a better one. So we'll go gather. Not gonna get a whole lot of money here. Oh, I, I did sell them. How many did I sell? Six. Huh. I must have just missed that. Uh, like, I don't know how I managed to do that. <laughs> All right. Let's get into summer. Let's get it rolling. 